Hi everybody, today we are joined by Mr. Max Bernardini, one of the greatest dealers of watches in the world, and also a real connoisseur of fine watch furniture and trunks. And uh, Max, thanks so much for joining us here in Hong Kong. on the Army Thank TV. you so much for having me here. Yeah, it's been such a pleasure. It's so great to see you here. Yeah. For me, it's an honor in Hong Kong. It's always coming back home. Before we start, though, can we have a look at your watch? I knew you were going to go there. Mm -hmm. Who knows me in the collector's community knows that I always wear a Patek Philippe, even if I'm not wearing a watch <laughs> to begin with. Mm -hmm. In this case, I don't own this watch. I'm a custodian, as, mm -hmm. as the Patek ad says. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit more about, because you know, I don't think everyone necessarily knows what the complication on this particular watch is. Now, this is vulgarly called world time, but this patent used by not only Patek Philippe, but Vacheron Constantin by Rolex. If you give me a little close up, you will see the magic hat, the hands turn, the 24 hour disc, which signals night and day, the 12 hours of night time and the 12 hours of daytime, and synchronized with this rotating base bezel with all the known cities of the time. And if you go and you look at, is written with the antique name, Peiping, as Mao Zedong wanted. Mm. So we're in the late 40s, beginning of the 50s. It's got a lot of weight to it too, given the size of it. It's, it's, uh, it's a tiny guy full of muscles. It is. <laughs> this is, I think, 31 millimeters? Yeah, I think so. So it, it's a watch that would be, would be considered tiny, mm. according to today's fashion. Mm -hmm. Man, I love that watch, though. I'm very jealous. Um, Max, how, by the way, how did you get into doing these things? Trunks, cases, beautiful accessories like this? Because you kind of have a, a taste and a passion for furniture as well. It, it started for fun. It started 18 years ago. Uh, I, I was passionate about vintage trunks, and I wanted to give them a new life. I found out that it was very complicated. After 18, no, 17 years uh, in customizing vintage trunks, we have not only achieved the knowledge, but we've created a network of artisans. And uh, one day I decided, you know what? If I put all these guys together, I might be able to do something the way it was done back in the day. Mm -hmm. I, I have uh, uh, the honor of, of dealing with some of the biggest collectors in the world. You would be surprised the way they keep their watches. It's like, you know, you go to the bank to see their collection and all of a sudden they take out a shoe box and all the watches are in plastic bags and like mind blowing pieces. I started designing parking spaces, let's call them. <laughs> you know? I like that, yeah. And uh, statistically, it's that first dozen. Mm -hmm. And it, to honor this milestone in, in the life of a collector, we came up with this very, very simple design. Regardless to say that the choice of materials and uh, the craftsmanship is to the highest standards that we can achieve, every year it's a little notch better. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, as a watch collector, they will always change place. What does that mean? Uh, a collection has always to be dynamic. What today is the best for you, you will evolve in taste, in knowledge, probably in budget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what today is your Grail watch, tomorrow will be a knife memory. Remember mm -hmm. when I used to like those watches? <laughs> and, and, and your taste is always evolving. But this is for your favorite 12. And you have pockets for straps, tools. The loop. It's uh, a size that uh, fits uh, in... Uh, for bank deposit boxes. Mm -hmm. Of course, we 
can customize every part of it. Mm -hmm. The leather outside, the lining, and all the metal parts. So, very good. So this is the first dozen, and then you know once you've had your first dozen, you're probably going to keep going. Then you you then you're lost basically. <laughs> <laughs> then you've crossed the point of non-return. Mm -hmm. You don't own the hobby anymore. The hobby owns you, right? So what's this? So this is, is a crazy idea that we came up with, and we call it the collector's tower. But you have um, a working tray. You can fiddle with your watches, change your, uh, your straps, your bracelets, and then you can compone your collector's tower with a six-piecer, a twelve-piecer, and when you're you're really when you're ready for rehab, <laughs> you have oh a twenty-four-piecer. <laughs> and I have a few friends that have towers that look like ten-year-olds, like this tall. Wow! But it's a very smart way to have an overview of all your collection. Especially when, you know, you have that moment that, okay, I have to get rid of a few of them because I want to buy that, that super piece. Mm -hmm. And you have them all in front of you, easy to take pictures. I just love Even how modular here. it is. Like, I love how it all fits together like Lego. It's, it's you know what? This is how we're going to call it, the watch <laughs> Lego. Every component has, of course, its cap. So you can start with one and then keep on building. It comes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in four different colors. Uh, green, brown, this mm -hmm. uh, dark... Uh, in Italian, we call it Testa di Moro, mm -hmm. which is the dark brown. Uh, black and blue. Even there, we can uh, decide what kind of uh, lining uh, in Alcantara we, um, we want to put inside. Mm. And this is a very practical accessory for... I mean, I love the idea that someone starts with a six, right? They start with a six, and they get another six, and they get the 12, and then all of a sudden, like, that and all you, sticks together like that. And you, you can also build, you can also build your, your, your tower only made of sixers, huh? Mm-hmm. It's true. It's true. And Fabulous. now these come with uh, our logo, but we can also produce them and customize with uh, the logo of, uh, of, of a brand or with the initials or the family crest of, of the customer. It's a very fun accessory, but most of all, very useful. Mm -hmm. Personally, I keep my collection in the tower. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have, obviously you've got so many watches, which means you're having a lot of friends over to come hang out with you to look at your watches. That's yeah. what this is for, right? <laughs> Because we like to spoil our friends, don't we? We do, of course. <laughs> yeah, because it's full of everything. Yeah. Max, what do you call this? I like to call this Whiskey and Friends. Oh. Is a playground for the wrist. Here we have, a, again, a kit to spend a nice hour with a nice bunch of friends. We selected uh, the best supply in crystals wow. and uh, silverware. All the accessories to serve properly whiskey. Actually, we should open a bottle here. We should open a bottle. And there is a baby humidor here with a drink. You want to add a little smoke to it, right? Yeah, of course. And these are customizable too, right? This is totally customizable. So we can uh, give a wide option on the external leather monogram, the different essence of wood, the metal parts, and also the internal linings, which can be in different uh, shades of leather. Mm. The concept stays the same, but it can 
uh, uh, we've calculated more than 100 different um, possible uh, combinations. And we came up with this, and my designer was sitting next to us. We emptied a bottle of single malt, and by the end of the bottle, we came up with this. All right, well, Max, thank you so much for showing us this fabulous collection. You are here in Hong Kong till Sunday, right? I am, and thank you for hosting me, and no, first of all, inviting me, and then hosting me. I couldn't wait to share this with you. No. I think you are one of the, you have one of the finest tastes in Asia. I really, no, I'm not joking now. Thank you. Don't blush, because it's true. Uh, we start knowing each other since a few years now, and I must say, the uh, precise uh, uh, and, 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 and you have this mixture of being extremely gentle in your, in your taste and very, very sophisticated at the same time being very laid back. And I totally uh, share these values with you. Thank you, man. Well, kindred spirits, of course. Really excited to do the trunk show with Max. He is here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, we have samples at the shops. So we have all the trunks at the Petter Building shop, and then we have all of Max's watches available at the Landmark shop. Come check it out, all right? And you also have Max. And you also have Max. <laughs> for Max three days. Is, Max is here, all three days. It's going to be awesome. Thanks again, my friend. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.